hello guys welcome to my channel nita critics my name is anita today i'm going to be sharing with you how to make granny um stripe shirts i think i've tried to make a romper before but i was just starting this whole thing of recording tutorials and i didn't know how to go about the whole entire thing and i feel like most of you did not get the whole entire image about how to make them as you would in this video so today I'm sharing how to make these granny stripe shirts. I have made, um, I think I've made them so many times that I really got tired of actually making them. Okay, here they are. Yeah, this is it. I know there are several videos about how to make these shirts, uh, but I feel like I can just go over with my pattern. There is going to be a written pattern on my Etsy shop. So you can just go ahead and check out my Etsy shop to get the written pattern for these shirts. Okay. First of all, you're going to need a tape measure and I'm going to be working with Robin 100% acrylic. It's 50 grams. So I'm going to use uh, two strands. I'm going to double my strands just like this. Okay. It is size two yarn. And here I have a 3.5 millimeter hook, then a pair of scissors, and lastly a darning needle to weave in your ends. I'm going to be working with two colors, red and white, but you can decide to uh, use as many colors as you want. Actually, you can just decide to change colors for every row. The way you like your shirts to look like is exactly how you should make it. Okay, so first of all, we are going to make a magic circle just like that. Once you have your magic circle, you will get your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle and work a single crochet. Alright, then chain two. This is going to act as a stitch, okay? Yarn over, work eight double crochets into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you have the eight, you are going to pull this leftover yarn right here and just get this together so you can now make the close up. So uh, here we are going to chain three and turn our work. Into this very first stitch, we are going to work two double crochets so that chain three is going to act as a stitch, okay? So we work two double crochets. That means we have three stitches here. We chain one, skip one stitch, and into the next stitch, we work three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets again in the very same stitch. Okay, chain one, skip this stitch into the next stitch you work three double crochets chain one three double crochets again so um after we have um three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same stitch we shall chain one skip the next stitch and then work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same stitch and now lastly as you can see we have two stitches left because I told you that chain two that started the row also acts as a stitch so we chain one and into um, the last chain stitch right there we work three double crochets all in the very same chain stitch yes we have it okay well for me I am attaching my other color so here we go so we are going to attach it you can just um, make a note here so that we have secured the ends okay so we chain four and turn our work skip these first three stitches and into the chain one space right here we work three double crochets chain one skip the next three stitches and into um, the chain one space there 
you work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same stitch then chain one skip these three stitches and work three double crochets into the next chain one space okay chain one skip these three stitches and work three double crochets into the next chain one space and chain one and work three double crochets again in the very same space or stitch see that so the chain th uh, the the three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same space are giving us this sort of like corner and these are the corners we are going to have on our shorts so again you chain one work three double crochets chain one into the chain one space here you work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same stitch and then chain one skip these uh, three stitches and work three double crochets into the chain one space i guess you all are very familiar with working um, a granny square so you skip these two stitches and then work uh, one double crochet into the third chain stitch of the three that started the previous row see that yes so I'll cut my yarn attach it just like that secure my ends so I'm just working this one row and you will have to work the next rows on your own until you get the width of the part that we want so here we are going to chain three and turn our work okay into this very first chain gap you work two double crochets so this chain three is acting as a stitch so you work two double crochets and then chain one skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets into the next chain one space okay now you see that we have gotten to the corner so we chain one skip the next three uh, stitches and work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same chain gap then again you chain one and skip the next three stitches work three double crochets into the next chain one space do the same for the next skip three stitches work three double crochets into the next chain one space and here you skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same chain space chain one skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets into the next ch uh, chain one space again you do the same once at the corner you work three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same chain space so you skip um, those three stitches and work three double crochets into the next and lastly here you work two double crochets into the chain one space and then work the third double crochet into the chain three uh, the third chain stitch of the four that started the previous row okay you see that and now here you chain four and turn your work skip these first three stitches and work three double crochets into this chain gap so literally this is the pattern you are going to follow you work this row until the end making sure that at these corners that's why you work the three double crochets chain one three double crochets all in the very same chain gap so work this for a total of eight if you're working for sizes small work this for the next um after this row let me say after um yeah so work this pattern you can just rewind and see what we have done for the previous two rows because that's what i want you guys to repeat and repeat and repeat until you have the width that we need if you're working for sizes small just add eight more rows so this is the first one so go ahead finish it off and add more seven rows okay and um that will be giving us a total of 12 rows 
okay until you have uh, 12 rows in total and then if you're working for sizes medium you will work this for more for more 10 rows from here just add 10 more rows all right and then if you're working for sizes large please add 12 to 14 rows given how wide you are or how wide you're working this okay so that means um for sizes small we are going to have a total of 12 rows for sizes um medium we are going to have a total of 14 rows and for sizes large we are going to have a total of 16 and 18 i guess yes yes i think so i think so so let me meet you there once you have your piece ready just like i have mine ready here okay and then i'm going to show you what to do next so guys i have my two pieces ready um the front and back and this is exactly what you are going to do so once you have your front and back pieces ready uh, you are going to go to the sides of your work for example here just in the corner right there you'll insert your hook and pull through yarn chain one work a single crochet into that very same stitch and then start working one single crochet into every stitch like that including the chain one spaces so into the chain one we work a single crochet and then continue with one single crochet into every stitch okay and we are just doing this on the sides okay on the sides of our shorts because that's where we are going to attach and stitch them together see that so just do this until you get right here at the end of your row and do the same on this side see just do the same also on this side and the other side of it. Then when I come back, I'm going to show you what to do next. So um, once you are done with working your single crochets on both sides, you are going to get your yarn. Make sure you turn your work in out and you're working this from the inside. So we shall... Um, yarn over pull through yarn and then insert our hook into both stitches on both pieces like that side by side and work a single crochet so we are trying to attach the sides together okay so uh, you just continue working single crochets and making sure the stitch you um, work your single crochet in you have done the same on the other side just like that Yeah, so just continue with this until you get to um, the end right here. Until you get here at the end. And that's where I'm going to meet you and then show you what to do. So literally you do the same for this other side. As you can see, I've already stitched this together. Now just work this until the end. Then when I get back, I show you what to do. So once you are done, uh, this is what you are going to do. You are just going to turn your work in out okay like this so you see the edges well put together and now we are going to start working the crotch area or the lower part of our uh, shorts and this is what we are going to do so from here we are going to chain four and skip all this then work um, into this chain one space right here in the corner we work three double crochets chain one skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets Skip the next uh, chain one, skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets into the next chain one space. So just do this until you get right here. 
right here that's where i'm going to meet you and then show you what to do so uh, what we are going to do is we are now going to work single crochets as you can see i am at this point at the corner so we are headed for our crotch so here i'm going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and once you have your 10 you are going to uh, cross over to this other side 